of recent mass shootings like the one in San Bernardino have reignited the debate over who and how people can get high-powered weapons. Well, tonight, some critics are pointing out that in just one week, it will actually be tougher to own a drone than an assault rifle in some states, including New Hampshire. Our Jim Smith has the story all new at 5.30. It's all in the eye of the beholder. What's more in need of regulation, drones or guns? The founder of Stop Handgun Violence says it's obvious. If you're going to regulate automobiles and you're going to regulate drones, why wouldn't you regulate military-style assault weapons and large ammunition magazine clips that are the common denominator in every one of the daily mass shootings in this country. By December 21st, all newly purchased drones weighing over nine ounces will have to be registered with the FAA before they fly. Current drone owners have until February 19th. Meanwhile, New Hampshire, Maine, Vermont, 33 total states don't require a background check or even proof of ID to buy military-style assault weapons. Freelance journalist and drone owner Joshua Kopstein just wrote an article called I'll register my drone when you have to register your gun. How do we balance our priorities here? How do we figure out what are the things that are the most dangerous and that are going to cause the most problems and what are the things that are just really scaring us a lot because they're new and we don't know how to deal with them yet. The concern is literally hundreds of thousands of Americans could find drones under their Christmas tree this year. And then on December 26th, the skies could be filled with flying machines with little or no rules. The new regulations are designed to prevent that. Rosenthal would like the same government response on his issue. Drones are inherently dangerous, like assault weapons. I would say assault weapons are actually more dangerous. I'm Jim Smith, WBZ News.